attitude is everything. Your attitude towards things can actually make or break you. Or maybe your work, personal life and if you're into business, that too. While most leadership lessons talk about us having a lion attitude or an eagle attitude, but in reality, we are all just being intimidated by an elephant attitude. Well, the Google meaning of attitude states, a settled way of feeling and thinking about something. So shall we term it as your instinctive or gut feeling? Nope. So what exactly defines your attitude? Hey everyone, this is Rithvi Savant and welcome back to Rithvi Talks. Yes, you got that right. Today's topic is about attitude. The lion likes to roar and rule the jungle. But eagle just hops on its prey quietly, sharply and flies high alone. Lion can't fly and eagle can't rule the land. While lion still respects the elephant as elephant being the largest, the most intelligent, heavier and also the most helpful animal in the jungle, yet the first thought that comes to its mind seeing the lion is, oh, Ito. Attitude is your programmed mindset towards things, business, work and most importantly, life in general. Just like the elephant, we sometimes get into the self-sabotage mode and don't take a step ahead, while at the back of the mind, we all want to have a lion or an eagle attitude. It is literally the basis for everything in our lives. Our attitude defines us in real sense. How we react to adversity, our ability to grow and learn, our ability to overcome challenges and create great bonds with others, it all depends on this one quality. It's the attitude of the business owner and that of the employees that build the company and its brand value. You must have often come across some really annoying bosses who simply shout and crib about the sales dooming or being underperformed. Happens a lot in the customer service industry where the targets and numbers are everything. But only that man triumphs who kept his cool and yet got the work done from his employees. That's how dynasties and empires are built. Dictatorship and bad-mouthing or just spat of words and no concrete work, would take you maybe somewhere, but definitely not where your competitors are. They must be doing something correct that stuck your attention and you are still talking about them, isn't it? We generally classify attitude to be either positive or negative. So you might be wondering, is attitude a choice or is it something inbuilt by nature? Yes. Attitude is a choice. Suppose you wake up one fine morning and feel all grumpy and irritated. Now, either you choose to have a negative perspective, inculcating the same feeling and transferring the same frequencies ahead, whoever you meet throughout the day. Or you would just choose to calm your nerves down and get the positive senses back and rather transfer the same golden, harmonious energies ahead of the day. And that is what shall define your day, your valuable 24 hours of life, which you are never going to get back. So why not decide on having a correct attitude towards life as a bigger goal? You always have a choice. One of the famous Buddha sayings states, A great attitude becomes a great mood. A great mood becomes a great day. A great day becomes a great year. A great year becomes a great life. Is this enough food for thought? Think about it. My first job was in a direct marketing company and we had to report early morning so that we could have our grilling morning meetings and then start our work to hit the targets. Near every office area, there is always a small trail 
which has these hawkers and pawn shop walas and those food stalls and all mine also had and one of my favorite pastimes while crossing that pathway used to be to observe all of them after all they are also marketing their own stuff but looking at their approach at various times of the day was true fun some of the vendors used to be all frustrated with their neighbors and chose to fight over space and all some would just concentrate on selling their product and bettering the quality attending each customer with utmost satisfaction while some would simply have the best product but show all kind of wrong attitude towards their own staff or helpers and at times to the consumers as well captain raguraman once in one of his speeches had said that the vendors and hawkers in india is the most unorganized sector but contributing with a huge passive income to the country's gdp but also a great learning curve for people who want to understand business loan management and finance and also life at galore well i am not a management student i am a science student but since i was inclined towards the business aspects i had joined this firm into direct marketing and trust me i learned a lot from this job of mine but i rather learned a lot outside of it too every organization or institute which deals into management and sales teaches something or the other on this one word and its whole meaning called attitude well if you look around there are a lot more things you can learn from if you just plain observe while these vendors and hawkers who literally minded their own business and focused on bettering their food and product quality did amazingly well over the time the others were just replaced by the new ones or some of them just wrapped up their shop so the next time you pass by your offices crossing these streets or anywhere don't forget to stand there and keenly observe for a minute or two i'm sure you'll also learn a lot this is exactly what an unorganized or an uneducated sector can really teach you you me and we all are way higher than them in standard of living in education in our morals etc but yet what we lack is a basic understanding of life that your attitude is everything suppose tomorrow you go to a shop and the shopkeeper says lena hai to lo varna chhod do which means take it or leave it i am not going to bargain you would actually be pissed off but if you met a shopkeeper who said to you okay tell me your budget and i'll see if it works for me you would be actually pleased with his approach towards you even if he might not be able to bargain much but you would still buy from him or her considering his product and the way he spoke to you the most effective attitude you can ever adopt is of supreme acceptance the second type of shopkeeper knows acceptance and talks about the solutions but the first one doesn't and that's how it is the market runs on these two mindsets quite literally and so does the world the greatest of the people you know today have had their own share of setbacks but they didn't sit there crying over their situation in fact they stood back up even stronger than before just because they could accept their situation quickly started working on the solution without wasting any time you'll come across people who say or do no good to anybody they know or they don't know that is generally called a lousy attitude which eventually leads to no progress you learn nothing from life if you think you are right all the time but when you come across people like anand mahindra late apj kalam sir ratan tata sir jeff bezos or even some self made billionaire women 
like Kim Kardashian or Oprah Winfrey or Ellen DeGeneres to name a few, they are all very, very humble people. They never go around bad-mouthing others or other brands. In fact, they are the ones who believe in having the right kind of mindset for their own business and supporting each of their contemporaries and other people too. The way you speak about someone, the way you act, even the way you say something or the diction within that sentence is all related to your attitude. You become a better person when you have a positive one and take every aspect of life into consideration with an open mind. Don't forget, a positive attitude makes success easy. A negative one makes success pointless. If you look at the right way, you'll see whole world is a garden or it's just a barren land. It all depends on you. Here are a few things you need to take a note of to inculcate a positive one. 1. Always know your purpose. 2. Stress yourself a bit trying to be better than you were yesterday. 3. Don't expect much. Just put in the great work. Results will follow. 4. Don't take setbacks too much to heart. In fact, use them to better your skills. 5. Seek out people who level you up, not the ones who tear you down. Finally, 6. Don't take non-important things too seriously. Be a little gentle on yourself. So what is attitude exactly? <laughs> it's the product of your belief. You cannot have an attitude beyond your belief system. You decide whether you would like to see the garden side or the barren land, thinking that the garden is a barren land or vice versa. <laughs> Happy living people, take care.